So in this case, what I have is the height of a parallelogram is 10 feet, um, more than its base. If the area of a parallelogram... Excuse me, Mr. McLogan? Yes. Can you please send Taylor Ford to the main office? She will be returning. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so the height of a parallelogram is 10 feet more than its base. If the area of the parallelogram is 1,200 square feet, find its base and height. So again, what I'd like to do is let's draw a figure of a parallelogram. Why not? It's not going to have to make any difference. Just draw a figure. So, we draw a figure of a parallelogram. Next thing is we draw the area, or the formula, I'm sorry. Area equals base times height. Is everybody okay with the least doing that? Yes. It's the most fundamental information that we can possibly do with this, all right? So we have area equals base times height. Now, they say that um, the height, so h, is 10 more than the base. So would it make sense if I said h equals 10 plus b? The height of the parallelogram is 10 feet more than its base. So if you add 10 to the base, do you get the height? Yes. yes. So you guys see how that equation works? Now, can I replace h in for 10 plus b? Are those the same thing? Yes. So what I'm going to do is now they say the area is 1,200 square feet. 1,200 square feet equals base times my height, which is 10 plus b. OK? So now, what I have to do is destroy the property. So I have 1,200 equals um, 10b plus b squared. And then finally, what I do is I set this equal to 0. So b squared equal, or oh, sorry, b squared plus 10b minus 1,200 equals 0. So now, what we need to do is go ahead and determine um, what is going to be our, what would be our factors to go ahead and put with this. So uh, now we got to see, you know, can we factor this, right? So um, let's see, what about this? Does 40 times negative 30 equal negative 1,200? Does 4 times 3 mm -hmm. equal negative 12? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just the zeros, right? Does 40 plus negative 30 equal po or positive 10 B? Yes. Yeah, you add those to the 40. 40 minus 30 equals 10. So therefore, those are your two solutions. This is from Algebra 1 review. That was a little bit um, extensive. Now you apply your uh, zero product property, so you set them equal to zero. So there's b equals negative 40, and b equals positive 30. Uh, don't worry, really worry so much about um, that one, even though it is a problem that 